The 28mm F2 lens from Sony. I want to talk about my love and hate relationship with this lens in this video. Let's talk about this now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. This is the podcast number one where I just want to talk about lenses, camera gear, photography tips and tricks so I can publish more and faster on the YouTube. I will see how this is going. So please be sure to subscribe for my next upcoming videos and podcast regarding this channel. So the subject today it is Sony 28mm f2 lens. This is a cheap lens, easy to buy on the used market or brand brand new. I am at my second copy. I've used my first copy on Sony A7S and I was satisfied with that combo, but at that time the setup for me for street photography, it seemed a little bigger because a Sony A7S full frame with this lens was a pretty big setup. Now I have Sony A7RC that it's bigger than Sony A7S, but but the image quality that I get from Sony A7RC it is really motivating me to pick up the camera and use the camera. So this was the first reason why I've sold my 28mm f2 lens from Sony. On Sony a7s even if the images were looking great and the image quality was great that 12 megapixel sensor it seems it didn't motivate me to pick up this lens and use it. But what it's interesting it's that this 28mm f2 I've sold it to my friend and he used it on Sony A7 III and also on Sony A7C. But the images that uh, he got on Sony A7 III and Sony A7C aren't so sharp and aren't so full of details and micro contrast like the images that I'm getting with this lens from Sony A7 R3. So after selling my lens that was used on Sony A7S and looking at the images he got on Sony A7 III, I've told to myself I will not buy this lens again because again on uh, the flicker and all the images that you see with this lens you don't see that bite, you don't see that uh, micro contrast. It's not looking like a very very sharp contrasty lens, a punchy lens like a, like a Q2 lens. So I bought Samyang 24mm f1.8 that I've made a review about it, check it out. So anyway, after using Samyang 24mm f1.8 for some time, I felt that uh, I really like the field of view and I really like the lens, but this is metal build and that lens, well, it's a little bigger than this lens. I will probably do a review between this lens and that lens, so please be sure to subscribe to see that review. So anyway, in the end I've decided let me try again this lens on my Sony A7R3. Maybe I will be pleased with the results. And for my amazing, I'm very very pleased with the results from this 28mm f2 lens. So this is making me question how important it's the sensor, the sensor of the camera. The Sony A7R3 sensor with no anti-alias filter is making this lens to shine, to shine. I've got out and uh, made the short street photography tour and the results I'm very very satisfied with them and I hope I'm showing some pictures here. But uh, how I've said, the images straight from this camera, black and white with sharpness plus one or plus two, I really don't know at this time the settings anyway are very very contrasty, very sharp with uh, lots of micro contrast, with lots of contrast, good contrast, good details and very very nice pleasing bokeh. So I'm uh, glad that I've decided in the end to buy this lens again. So there are two questions here. How much the sensor is influencing the quality of the image in the end? From my point of view, it seems that uh, it's influencing a lot. It's influencing a lot. Lots of uh, Sony lenses on my Sony A7RC are shining, are shining. I really get very, very nice details, sharp, sharp images with, I don't know, 
the images from Sony 7 R3 are looking better for my eyes than the images from Sony A7 III and probably it's the anti-alias filter. I don't think the difference is made by the megapixels, but also it's possible that the megapixels are playing a role in the image quality. So anyway, a very very good performer on Sony A7 R3 and probably on Sony A7 R4, R2, R because it is focusing fast, it is focusing exactly accurately, it is light, it is metal build and the images, how I've said, are very very nice looking punchy images because this was the reason that I wanted to try again a 28mm small, small lens with an f2 aperture because I wanted to experience a full frame camera with a 28mm field of view with an at least f2 lens. So a Leica Q2 replacement, a Leica Q2 replacement that it's taking lenses and it's having a great great AF. And this is a wide lens, this is a wide lens and it's as small as the 35mm f2.8. Of course, it's a little bigger, but it's small, it's small, because I had also Sony 35mm f1.8 lens that um, even if that lens was great, it's ch a chunky lens, it's a big lens, it's very, very sharp, unbelievable, I really love that lens, but I wanted a small lens, so this is why I've got the 28mm f2 and the metal lens, and the metal lens, I really like the Samyang lenses, I really like the fact that they are easy on you, easy on the budget, easy as weight, very sharp and with very fast AF, but, but that plastic stuff, I don't know, I, I like metal stuff, I like, uh, or a good plastic, or a good sturdy plastic, so, these are the reasons why I've bought again Sony 28mm f2 and I must say that this lens it amazed me, it amazed me on Sony a7 R3 a. Probably I will do a comparison between uh, my Sony and my friend Sony with this lens and with other lenses so please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching this video please subscribe subscribe now 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 because I will post more podcasts and more reviews and more videos like this. Thank you for watching this video and talk to you soon. Bye bye.